Enter the mines through the factory. Continue down this road. All right, guys, so I figured, why don't I do my third time around on uh, Gears of War Ultimate, and uh, let's just go through it a little bit more in depth. I'm going to give you different viewing angles. I'm going to give you first viewing angle like this, so you guys can check it out, and then I'm going to try to zoom it in and give you guys a little bit more wider angle. All right, so this is the zoomed in angle. I'm zooming it in, trying to give you guys as, as possible viewing angle detail as I can. I mean, it looks good to me. Especially the detail in the game right now looks very good. And yes, this is the upscale version of the uh, Ultimate Edition Gears of War. So I'm just kind of going to walk through here and just let's look at the uh, this upscale. Clearly you can see the shadows here blending in nicely. And again the question comes in people ask me well why is it that this typical Gears of War right here, Ultimate Edition looks good on the upscale, and and the simple you know, simple answer is honestly, this game it's remastered in 1080p 60. You know, it's remastered in true 1080p native resolution. When you have a game like this running in 1080p true native resolution, then this is the outcome. This is what you're gonna get. this is exactly the outcome you're getting you're getting yourself a nice good-looking uh, upscale hold on let's uh, let's examine a little bit more here I wanna kinda see all the details as much as possible as I can Let, let's uh, go over here let's see how the color blends in here too and remember I'm like I'm zooming into the screen so you guys can see it and I know that this camera is not doing it justice, but this is the best way I can show you just how how good this upscale is. Here, I'm clearly showing you uh, the characters in their detail. So this is the example of when you have a game running in its true native 1080p upscale to 4K, this is the outcome. It looks fantastic. And I think I already mentioned this uh, earlier. I said the reason I do uh, Xbox One S upscaling tests on my channel is because I want you guys to uh, be able to get the list of good upscaled games so you can show off your 4K TV. And remember, I'm zoomed in. You know, I can zoom out right now if you guys want to, but uh, you clearly can see my Xbox on the right side with a, you know, the console next to the TV. And so you guys know that this is me showing you by camera as much as possible the detail. Granted, you guys have to see this upscale in person um, to truly appreciate it. All right, let's continue. 
remember the purpose of this video is just to show you. I know I already went through this game. I just want to go a couple of more times and show you some some stuff here. Um, let me uh, go ahead and do some adjustments on my picture. Let, let's stay right here. Let me do some adjustments on my picture. Here, let me show you another settings. Let's say this is my custom made picture settings let's say I go back to some other settings like uh, standard or computer look what happens now it gets dimmed it looks kind of crappy right it's not vivid now when I go back to my custom made uh, picture settings check this out it looks much better right let's say I go over here to the tree right let's go over here to this tree and clearly you can see the detail here let's say I go back to the old settings the the the, stun, the standard settings look it looks kinda dimmed right it's not vivid and I go back to mines looks more vivid especially right here right Another good example is the smoke right here, right? Let's say, let's look at the smoke. All right, this smoke looks very uh, clear, like you can see it popping out. Let's say I go back to my old settings, right? And I switch it back. It looks kind of dim, doesn't look that vivid anymore, right? I mean, you can still see it, but it doesn't look it vivid. Let's say I switch back to my uh, custom made settings. Check this out. Now it looks more vivid and the frame rate just went out a little bit faster. You know why the frame rate is faster? It's because I turn off my filters. Okay, let's say I go back to all the filters on. Check this out. Okay, frame rates kind of start slowing down a bit. Let's say I go back to my uh, filters off. Check this out. It goes a little bit faster. You see, smoke's coming out faster. So you see, it's not just simply you plugging in your HDMI cable and your TV. You have to work on your TV settings and your picture settings, man, to get the best possible picture. That's why you gotta use the calibration mode, man. This is the calibration that I used. This settings that you're seeing right now is the game calibration that I went through the Xbox and I calibrated this. And this is the uh, the end result. This is what you get. And clearly here you can see the detail. Open that door, will you? It's locked. Just get jacked to it. All the characters are more visible, much more vivid. You know, especially here, like look at right here, like clearly here, you can see the character popping out more naturally. And this is me doing it without high dynamic range. This is me doing it with calibration, adjusting my TV settings, tweaking it, you know. There, you see? So even on a shitty TV that I have, if you know how to adjust your TV settings and your picture settings, you can still enjoy your video game in much better detail, you know? So hopefully this helps some of you guys, you know what I mean? Look at that smoke coming out when he's shooting. You can clearly see it, right? All right, guys, so I guess this is going to be the end of the uh, this video.